Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Now, I was just looking for salt, and I went one over and dug down and found it. And I thought, well, why not just dig a little tunnel from my, the diamond shaft that I have? And it's actually way closer than I realized. It's only like a chunk over. So I don't know if this diamond vine is actually like my off. Is it centered on this one or maybe this? I just got the very edge of it. I'm not really sure. Um, but I just figured that would probably be easier. Than uh, having to like go out and around to get to the salt. And uh, yeah, never dig straight up. <laughs> But uh, I think it looks like, yeah, it looks like this is the top layer. So this actually worked out, like, really well. Alright, so, oh, no, it's there. Oh, right, I remember now. I think the salt veins, the salt ore is on the bottom three layers and then the rock salt is above it, if I, am I remembering correctly? I think, yeah, look, I think the rock salt's up and then the salt bottom three layers are like all salt. Alright, so technically I'm trying to remember how I how do I dig this out again? I think I go yeah, I'll go one layer down. Actually let's put that there. And then I would fill in the floor up there. Alright, but anyway, I just wanted to show this salt vein. Alright, so there'd be like two layers for when I mine this out. Um, I forgot to bring my hammer as well. I don't know why I'm using this little thing. <clears throat> um, but anyway, I'm not going to harvest them right now, but as we can see, I have tons of aluminum um, if needed right now it's not overly important and that looks like that was an enderman I'm having enderman issues so I don't know if I can really do anything about that but if we go down here I noticed I have he broke like a torch it looks like Oh no. Yeah, that's right. He broke, an underman broke one of these um, gravel blocks, and then, because there's water on the other side, it, like water flowed in. And as we can see, like, they've broken, like, this stuff. So I need to replace all this with um, cobblestone, I think. And there is actually a cave underneath here, too. Um, that I haven't lit up yet, but uh, I need to get around to doing that. All right, but anyway, today I want to uh, get a little farther into getting batteries. I definitely want to get batteries sooner than later. Um, I like batteries. Um, all right, so this, yeah, see, this is a an issue here. This is burning creosote, but I am completely full up on steam and stuff, so I feel like I'm kind of wasting it. Um, and there's no like kind of easy. I mean, I could turn off the thing. With my screwdriver, I could turn off the input. Okay. 
No, I'm just gonna leave it. It's so easy to get. And when these are running, it's, it uses a lot of steam when I have these running, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not running them at the moment, so. Alright, but anyway, let me uh, get let me um let me get all this. this Udo mean I feel like it's gonna take a while. I think that's the sporadic war in the vein. Let's just check that really quick. Yeah, that's the sporadic. So that might take a little while. Um, but yeah, I did finally get glass all the way around. So that feels pretty cool. We're finally like on the inside. No mobs can. Uh, I don't think they can see in, because I had an Enderman chilling right there and he was looking at me and he wasn't aggroing or anything. Um, but yeah, let me get the that quest finished and then we will move on. And I got everything for this quest. Morsel or hearty lard meal? Yeah, I'll take the one large meal. All right, so this is telling us to get lithium. Don't. Oh, it's it is a required quest, fortunately. All right, so lithium can be washed out of or a centrifuge out of glutamine. Let's see. All right, so you're going to have to crush it down and then get it out of the thermal centrifuge. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, it looks like that's like the only way to do it, unless I like all the way down. No, nope, because all the way down you would have to get it from that. All right, so this is something. So what about this ore? Crush it. It is a bonus to pulverization, but obviously we're not there yet. So yeah, there's a the lithium. So if I put it through an ore washer, I get lithium there. Then this I can get cesium out of it. Don't need that though. All right, so if we're looking at this, to get 10, I would need 90. So that's a bit odd. Why is that like a required quest to get sodium batteries? I don't know if I like that. Maybe, no? Because I wasn't going to use lithium right away, and this is telling me to get lithium. I don't like that. Um, unless it is behind something else. Um, I'm trying to think. Because it's behind the canner. I know, like, that is not the scanner. Not the fluid canner. What the heck's the name of it? Filling machine or basic? <laughs> Man, look at all the different. I'm never going to find it doing this way.
Basic rocket engine. World accelerator. There's a, a tick accelerator. Look at that. I have no idea. All right. I don't remember what this is locked behind. Um, So this is small sodium batteries, what I was planning on doing. So the candy machine. Yeah. All right. I don't know why I didn't do that. Pump. Is that up here? Hmm. Interesting. Not seeing the... All right, so I guess we'll have to get lithium. I know there's an easy way to do it at MV, but yeah, at this point, I guess we'll have to, and that's a long, like if I have to do it through an ore watcher, sending 90 ore, I'd have to go get more ore. Um, I guess, I mean, this is not too difficult. I have a lot of these materials already. Um, I have a pump and the, but I was going to use that for something else. All right. I wasn't planning on building the, these water ones yet. Like the ore washer and stuff require water. So I'd have to get water into it which i mean i could send it underneath i don't think there's nothing underneath these um i would probably move these down i think is what i was going to do um this is just i don't like how this is i feel like this is blocking unless it's also behind this which i have not I don't think I've found this yet. No, I haven't found one of those ore veins yet. So, all right, let me, I guess we'll do the ore washer and start getting some lithium. I mean, I don't mind using lithium batteries, but it just wasn't what I was planning on doing at this point. I was planning on using sodium. Um, but yeah, I guess we will... We'll get the ore washer going. I mean, it's not a bad thing to do anyway. I need to get all these anyway. It's just not the order I was planning on doing. Um, but let me get these materials and uh, I'll come back. And there is the ore washing plant. Go ahead and make that. Now I'm going to need some more wooden pipes. So I guess for now, because um, this is probably going to get moved a bit once I get a battery buffer, I think. I'll throw these on the end, because the wires actually are pretty easy to make. Or, not easy to make, um, like they don't re require a lot of EU, I believe. Look at this. Yeah, only four EU per tick. So it can be pretty far down the line. Um, but we need the wire cutters here. All right. And I can actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I could auto up what if I do to the right. I could actually auto up put these into the assembly machine. So that's I never really thought about putting that next to the assembly machine, um, but that's a thing. All right. So for now, we will put the I guess the ore washer right here. Now I need to get. Question is how we're going to get. I guess we'll just go down here. 
and like up there, I guess. Yeah, and this doesn't need to be any sort of like high capacity line either. Is that automatically? Yeah, okay. So if you shift right click on a machine, it will automatically connect it. So that's good to know. But I love that, like, if I put this here, it's not going to connect and fill up with steam or whatever. All right, so how do we want to do this? I guess we'll do it that way. Yeah, and it definitely, because of like, the hardcore darkness, it's it does get a bit hard to see at night. I mean it's not it's not bad for me, but I wonder like how dark it is on the recording. It's a bit difficult to see. But anyway, so there it is filling up with water and as we can see it's going up pretty quick and this will not um this isn't gonna use it super fast either so all right so ore washing plant this is what we needed to do to it, right i'm already forgetting yeah so ore washing plant you're going to get tiny piles of lithium from now the thermal centrifuge is another machine that i was thinking about making right away so i think most of the Most of the things for this are pretty easy. Um, what am I looking for? All right, so we'll throw this there. So the thermal centrifuge. All right, so I have my motors already done. I just crap. Oops, I just crafted like ten of them, I think. So annealed. No, just regular copper wires. Okay, so this is eight copper wires. So we'll get that going. See, I don't want to auto output automatically, so I'm going to leave that off because otherwise it would have started making them. All right, so I'm curious. I don't know if this is going to keep up with this boiler to be honest and I don't know if I want it to like run out cool down again and then get a thing and then heat up again like I feel like that's kind of a waste so um, it might I don't know if doing coal like blocks or maybe just single things of crease that would be better um, not entirely sure on that, but I will just kind of have to do some testing with that. All right, so it was it was these, right? Yeah, four X copper wires. A couple of tin cables down there, and then the these, not those. Now I really need to get um, um, better producing these circuits better because that is all these different components are so annoying to make. They're not difficult, but like this is like look how annoying that is with steel rods for one and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I need to. Look into getting the circuit machine. Circuit assembler. Yeah, but this has good circuits, so I'll have to figure out which one to do. But uh, yeah. All right, so there is the thermal centrifuge, and once again, I think this is a Kind of a let's see the 
What is it? Spoot of whatever this is. Let's look for it. Oh, no. So crushed. And no, it's not that one. This one. Oh. Okay. Wait, no, this is okay. So this is 48 of you per tick, and you're like, oh, that's an MV recipe, but it needs two amps. So it's going to... Oh, I'm not going to be able to run this. Because I'm only producing one amp. All right. So this is a thing. But this is a high... This requires a lot power. And obviously this isn't going to work. Gonna have to be a higher. Thing. I don't want to make any more cables than I need right now, though, because I'm gonna have to replace them. All right, so that kind of just messed me up a little bit. I didn't even think about that thermal centrifuge, but that opened up. What did this open up? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to build it anyway, so I'm not mad about that, but yeah. Like this quest, like it's telling you to like centrifuge it out of the scutamine. And I don't think you can just throw this through a regular centrifuge. It has to be through a thermal centrifuge, which I can't even use unless I build another Turbine, so yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so it has to go through. Oh, look at that, another quartz, thermal centrifuge. That's an easier way to get it, too, because there's a lot of those. Alright, less, we'll check this out and. See what it shows. Yep. I think. Yeah, I think just washing the this stuff is the best way to get this. So let me finish this up. Um. Did I just get torches? Got torches and fences. Oh wow, that just gave me a gas turbine. Okay, so that's pretty amazing. I don't have any gas to burn in it yet, but uh, that just gave me like a whole thing. So I'm going to break this for now. Throw that back down. And then we will put that back when I have the infrastructure. It. Now you can do multiple turbines, but I'm probably going to do a battery buffer. Um, so we'll see where we go with that. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go find the more with this ore too, because I need, if you need 10 of these, I need nine. So I need more. Alright, we got the lithium. Wasn't too terrible. Um, but I was definitely using too much steam, so I had to throw my cold coke in here um, to get some steam going as well, because it was definitely not enough. Now, this steam boiler will get down to about 945, and then it will get another bucket, and that is going with. Just regular cold coke. So it's almost just enough uh, creosote to keep it up running at full temperature um, from one coke oven. Now I may, I don't know, I haven't decided, I may build in a second one because then it would definitely be getting enough. But one, yeah, it'll get up to about 990. Well, maybe I'll go all the way up to a thousand. Um, but yeah, I just needed the second steam boiler. 
to help out when this is running and this is running. I might actually run out with the emacerator running as well. Um, I think I'm actually going to just turn that off. Well, no, I might as well just finish that up. Otherwise I have just more more dust laying around. Anyway, let us complete this quest so we get some burgers. Coleslaw burger. Alright, so here is the canning machine. So the canning machine is used to mainly fill tin cans with any kind of food but is useful for filling empty tin cells with other solid food items and food. What? It is useful for filling and emptying tin cells with other solid items other than food. <laughs> Usually in the form of dust, it can use to fill batteries, etc. So I'm going to dump that in there for now. I added another barrel up here for stone dust because I remember getting a lot of that. And Another playthrough of Greg Tech. All right, we'll throw that in there. And yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit more sand to finish up my basement. All right, so plenty of food here, so that's pretty cool. Now the candy machine, let's take a look at what that requires. Like nothing really. Although I don't have any I've used all my glass. <laughs> so that's a thing. Let's get that going. Alright, I have another pump, thankfully, because pumps are annoying to make. Yet tin cables. Do I have enough? Doesn't look like I have enough. Actually, this is pretty easy to make. Why don't I just go ahead and do that? Why don't I just use all these? Now I can auto item, item output. Oh, yeah. But I gotta remember to turn that off because I don't always want to automatically make cables. It goes in there, doesn't it? All right, I got to use these circuit boards. Yeah, so I got to turn that off. And we need. More steel and wrought iron for the machine hole. See, like, I have three machines running here off one. Oh, okay, now we're gonna start having issues. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Alright. So, got a little. <laughs> got a little uh, ahead of myself here. So we need to kind of let that um, fill up a bit. I need, I do need one of these though, so I can smelt down. Um, more glass. Okay. So let's let's use these. Get those circuit boards. Now what else do I need? More steel for this. And then I guess we'll just spending all my coins on this. I don't know if this is the best thing, but I just find these very annoying to make.
Was it like that? Or I think it was like that, wasn't it? I don't even know. Yeah. So yeah, having this buffer for Steam is pretty amazing. All right, there's that. And I found out you can make um, blocks of glass easier, but I don't have the machine yet. Uh, you can in the forming press with a block mold, you can get glass. So uh, as soon as I get the forming forming press, I will be able to not have to worry about smelting down. Um, that stuff in the smelter. I'll still need the quartz sand and the flint dust um, but yeah it'll be a little bit easier. Alright so let me just uh, actually yeah, we're pretty much done actually that went that was actually not too bad I just got to, since this is all automated. Now the nice thing about this I've noticed is I have seven ingots in here. And it's not pouring it into a mold. I'm not sure if it's because that's not like a steel block, not a thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's a possible recipe, so it's not pouring it in. I thought it was going to pour in part of it, so I'm glad it doesn't do that. Oh, I have glass in here. All the things. So I need three glass, and then use that for crafting or my actual base. All right, I think that is everything. Oh my goodness. My bags. Let's make this first. There's that, that, three glass, the basic canning machine, right? Let's just double check that it is the right thing here. Yep. Come on, there it goes. All right, so I think we're actually That actually happened quicker than I thought it was going to. Because if I give this power, I think I can can these already. So, like, what is that a picture of? An arrow with something? A cell or something? A battery? I don't know. So let's claim that, and while we're here, I'm not going to claim that yet. All right, so here's the three different types of batteries. you got your lithium, sodium, and cadmium. And I was planning on doing the sodium batteries, but since it made me get lithium, might as well just go ahead and get that. So now I'm probably going to take the lithium. Because this is lead, lead's relatively easy to get. Lead in antimony, tin cables are easy. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and make these. All 
fight. And there is my batteries. Now I'm pretty sure. Yeah, battery buffer. Uh, next episode, we will get into this battery buffer. Um, I don't know how many slots we'll use. Probably nine. I don't think I'm going to use 16 slots quite yet. I may get up to that much when I have a lot of machines. But for right now, I think we're going to stick with lower ones. This is asking for a four-slot battery buffer, which is a pretty good size. But the one thing that... Uh, Really quickly, I do have enough for oh, I only have one more. Oh, yeah, I had enough for one more battery. All right, so that actually worked out pretty well. All right, but the one nice thing about these is I believe um, if you put this in the slot, they will charge. Yep, which they don't do it in Greg Block, and then. Um, obviously this is using steam here, um, but it when we run this, it'll run it from the buffer. Um, I'm going to need more steel plates, so why don't I just go ahead and do that right now and see. So it's being charged more than it is using, because this recipe, if you look at this recipe, Bendy machine, it's using 24 EU per tick, but the battery is getting 32 EU per tick from this, and it is charging up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the high, like some of the machines, like the fluid extractor, which uses a lot of power, like the, yeah, I think they use like 31... I really got to wrap up here, but uh, oh my goodness, which one is it? This one. If we look at this in the, the fluid extractor, it uses 31 EU per tick, so unless it's like right here, it's going to not be getting enough, but if you have a battery in it, it will drain the battery a bit, um, and then it'll the battery will kind of charge back up again. So while probably having the battery in some of the more um, difficult to use um, machines, uh, thermal centrifuge is another one that uh, will probably put a battery in it to help with processing. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll get into the battery buffers and kind of rearranging some of this. And uh, yeah. We'll figure out where we're going to go after that. So thanks for watching and have a good one.